Hey there Chicago Bears fans, it is your host here once again, it is Rai Rai and I'm going to discuss the Chicago Bears versus the Arizona Cardinals that took place yesterday afternoon in Arizona, Phoenix in Arizona, my bad. Anyway, what a comeback by the Chicago Bears, wow, unbelievable, okay. Bears were down 14 and nothing. I thought this game would be totally over. I thought the Arizona Cardinals will put more points on the board. The Arizona defense looked very, very good on paper and on the field. But Sam Bradford is not a legit quarterback. I'll give you an example. He's not no freaking Tom Brady. He's not no Eli Manning. He's not Drew Bledsoe. He's not no Joe Montana. He's not no Drew Brees. He's not no Cam Newman. Those quarterbacks I mentioned, he's not those kind of guys. And Arizona picked up the leftovers because Sam Bradford was a freaking free agent this past free agency, this past March. And he's injury prone, okay? He went to. He jumped from team to team. He's with when he got drafted from the St. Louis Rams. And before you know it, injured, injured, injured. He would never, my point of view, he would never be in the Hall of Fame. Not with those numbers. No way, okay? He might be a average backup, but not no starter. So they finally put in the rookie quarterback and he throw in um he throw it to the Bears defense and not seal the win. They didn't give enough time for the backup quarterback. Maybe they thought they're going to have the same spark what happened this past Thursday when they put the rookie quarterback in for the Jets versus Cleveland and Cleveland came back and won that freaking game. Thank God it did not happen against the Bears yesterday afternoon. I'd be very, very disappointed. But I had a darn feeling Bears going to come back and win this game. Just what happened in 06. Bears versus Arizona. In Arizona, they were there was a huge comeback. I think they were down torn to nothing at the time. And that is the time that the Bears went all the way to the Super Bowl and they lost to the freaking Colts that year, I think. 06, 07. Yes, it is. Now, you know who won that game for the Bears yesterday? Once again, the damn defense, okay? The defense is freaking awesome, okay? Now, the offense, Mitchell, needs a lot of work, okay? It looks like he's a freaking scary cat. He needs a gun it, sling it, whatever you prefer. I am not going to give up on this quarterback at all. A lot of you did already. It's only a week three. It's not week, week eight, week nine. So let me discuss the numbers the best that I can. Okay, no receivers got into the end zone because the Arizona defense stopped them to go deep. So whatever, right? It happens. But Alan, Alan Robinson, he did his best. He was, what, three receptions for 50 yards, no TDs. That sucks. That kind of really irritate me. But um, let's see here. Uh, let's see about Mitchell. 25 uh, 35, 220 yards, 6.3 yard average, one interception, no TDs. That kind of sucks. But the running game did a pretty good. Howard, 24 carries, 80, 80, 61 yards, 2.5, one TD. His longest yard was 17 yards. Big whoop. You know, they need to um, open up the, the gates, let them go. Hopefully you will get 100 yards plus 100 plus yards this season. Hopefully. <sighs> and then now the Arizona Cardinals is 0 for 3. So if you're an Arizona Cardinals fan, I feel sorry for your pain. I really do. So Bears came back from a 14 point deficit. Holy cow. Now they got back to back wins. And also Bears are in first place since 2013. The Green Bay Packers lost. The Minnesota Vikings lost. The D Detroit won, but 
that didn't matter. I mean, it did, but Bears are in first place. Very happy. Hopefully, they keep on rolling. I know it's a long season, and hopefully, Bears will shock the NFL and make a surprising. Maybe they'll make the playoffs, but I'm pushing my buttons. But next time, we'll face the Arizona. Not Arizona, I'm sorry, that's a total messed up. We gotta face next Sunday afternoon the Buccaneers, the red hot Buccaneers. They're still undefeated until tonight. They might, the Buccaneers might be undefeated after tonight or may not because they gotta face the very final part of the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know? The Tampa Bay, they got an awesome quarterback right now. He's a backup. The other guy got suspended. I don't know why these quarterbacks always got screwed up. So he's red hot and they're going to keep him until he fills him out. Can the Bears stop, um, was it Ryan Fitzgerald? I forget what his name is. I can't think of his name. But he was on fire. I feel like I'm playing Madden, you know. Bears versus him. Hopefully um, they stop him, you know. So, um. Because last few times, Bears faced Tampa Bay, Bears got their butt kicks in offense and defense, especially when Winston was the quarterback for Tampa Bay. And the Bears defense is getting better each in each game, okay? Not gonna give up in this freaking defense. And Mac once again tore it up. I think he had like four tackles, one interception. And one fourth fumble. And um, how we got this big move from Oakland. I don't give a crap what, what the Oakland coach says. That's a horrible move. And also, the Oakland Raiders are 0 for 3. If they had Mac, I guarantee they'd be 3 0 instead of 0 3. That's just my opinion. That was a terrible decision, terrible move on Oakland's part. I don't know what kind of picks they're going to give out of the Bears in the future. We don't know. So hopefully this guy, Mac, will stay with the Bears until his rest of his NFL career. Probably not. Because Bears, I'm being honest, Bears are just cheap asses. You know? They are. You know? Hopefully be a future Hall of Famer with the Bears, but I'm pushing my buttons. But the Bears' defense won this game. Not their freaking offense. The defense, okay? Now, let me discuss about last night real quickly. Off the record, Tom Brady had an off game back-to-back -back weeks. Now, is it too early to hit the pennant button for the Patriots? Yes, absolutely. It is too early. Has any time, has the Patriots ever start on fire beginning of the year? No, not since the Tom Brady and Belichick era. So I'm not worried, you know? In a few weeks, we got to face the Patriots in Chicago. By that time, probably Patriots will be full strength on offense and defense. Hopefully, we can beat them. Because last time we faced the Patriots was in New England, in New England and that's when we had Jay Cutler, and the defense was all banged up. And hopefully, we can beat them. Blow out, not blow out, we'll find out. So, I just hopefully Bears could be like a Cinderella team. Like a Philadelphia Eagles or a St. Louis Rams last season. Sorry, Los Angeles Rams. My bad. I just can't. Um, I cannot remember. I, I mean, it just feels weird that um, Los Angeles has two LA teams now. It's kind of silly, but it's all about the money. You got the LA Rams and you got the Los Angeles Chargers. I think I'm saying right. But anyway, Go Bears, Go Bears. 16 to 14, they won by two freaking points. Man, this, I was, my heart was pounding. You know, I know Arizona are a very scrappy team. They got a great defense, but the offense is not very good. Now, can you just imagine if Court Warner was still under helm, that offense would be explosive. Now, I think Larry Fitzgerald, that's the guy. Uh, needs to leave Arizona and go to a legit playoff contender or a Super Bowl contender like the Patriots and all that stuff. So I feel sorry for you guys 
if you guys are San Francisco 49ers because of Jimmy, most likely off of the year. So I don't know who's your backup. So think positive. Don't ever give up on your team. Who's ever listening? I'm not gonna give up on my team. If the Bears were two and four, fifteen, fourteen, I still I still support them. Bears are two and one and one and one on the road. I think they're undefeated. Yeah, they're undefeated so far. Knock on wood. At home, they only play one home game so far. I think, yeah, one home game. And the other two games will be on the road, so they're doing pretty good. This early in the season, so let's keep this up. The offense need to go big, on, especially on the receivers. They spend a lot of money to get these big time receivers. One guy from Jacksonville, one from the Defenders Super Bowl champion Philly. So let's see what happens. So they need to change things up. They need to do some trick plays. I mentioned this in the past so I don't think anybody listened to my podcast so sorry if I'm going a little overboard like subscribe leave a comment hit the notification what do you think about this game are you surprised Bears made a huge comeback last night man Phil, Arizona Cardinals blew a 14 point deficit man it was not over until the fat lady sings you know that saying don't give up on your team Go, don't give up on your Chicago Bears if you support them since day one now the Bears will go back home to face the red hot Tampa Bay Buccaneers undefeated until tonight maybe. Maybe not. Have a good one. See you guys next time. Next sometime next week when I discuss Bears versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hopefully Bears can get the rematch from last season. Later. All my links are down below. Hit the notification, subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment about what I discussed. No negative later.